Good morning to you. Oh, now I was going to talk about the terrible storms out in the Atlantic and, and, and about to about to crash into Florida, but I thought, you know, I'm just not going to talk about that because the entire internet's talking about that. And no doubt all the television channels are talking about that. I don't have television, as you know. And, you know, anyone who watches these videos will be aware of what needs to be done. I'm going to put it very briefly, okay, and then I'm going to leave it. First of all, we have to make peace with Mother Earth. Secondly, we have to power down. That means use less power, be less demanding, stop being the demanding petulant children that we've become over recent generations. Thirdly, learn to live with a lot less. Drop the G from the ego, replace it with the C. Let's go eco instead. And learn to be happier with less. Because, <laughs> because the less you have, the less you have to worry about. We've overburdened our lives with material goods with foreign holidays, with the latest cars, the biggest cars, um, the latest fitted kitchens, let's make our homes bigger. <laughs> I grew up in such a tiny home. Such a tiny home. And that's something I love, by the way. I love the tiny homes movement. And you know something else too, if we are living, if we are living with a wee bit of land around us that we haven't planted trees on, then we're living in cloud cooker land. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm not going to say anything more. Because if I start one of my rants, you know, it could go on for some time. Few things I want to say. Oh, look at the beautiful, look at the beautiful cobwebs. That gorgeous, beautiful silky cobwebs. Um, just got to say this. Um, I just think. Excuse me just while I deep breathe and take in the morning. Look at that beautiful sky up there. Drinking in the morning. It seems that what I what I was going to say is just irrelevant. I'm in my little slippers, look. And my gym jams. I'm just going to walk around just to the side of the cottage and have a little look down. Oh, look at all the rain water in there. Isn't that beautiful? Reflecting the sky.
goddess. Good morning, Mother Earth. Good morning, Sammy Bear. Can you see him? He's almost invisible. He's lying on the white duvet. Naughty cat. Naughty cat, he sneaks into the lodge and he dosses there all day. Can't see him through there. Let's have a little look through this way. So, I'm just, oh, I've just remembered, yeah, what I wanted to say was, um, as you can appreciate, I'm getting a lot of emails, many of you are writing to me, I apologise profusely for not being able to respond to all of them, in fact, if I respond to 10% of them, I'm doing good, so please understand that I just... I just can't. <laughs> I just can't respond to all those emails. But I do read them. I do read them. It just shows you it was very windy on the west side of the house where the wind is coming in from. And you look here and it's only just the very tops of the trees that are moving. The amount of shelter that planting trees and shrubs and bushes has, has provided me with has been amazing. It's very sheltered, very embracing, very loving. Now you see all those these grapes, they're all in beautiful condition, yeah? There's one bunch of grapes that I'm allowing the wasps to have and can you see them in there? Look, they're only on one bunch. See how well organised they are? They haven't touched any of the rest. So I'm just going to leave that one bunch there for them. It's called sharing. I must pick some of these fennel flowers today and bring them in, put them into a vase. They give off the delightful smell, sort of scent of coconut, for some reason or other, I don't know why. <laughs> they stop smelling of fennel and they start smelling of coconut. I want to thank, very much thank, those of you who have supported Beltona Cottage by purchasing the book or the map or even trusting me enough 
to purchase the second book that isn't yet printed. I do feel very blessed. I feel someone's watching me. Who's watching me? Ah, tis a little fella called Jack. <laughs> he says, are you going to come in and give me one of those treats that Dwayne sent to me? Would you like a little treat, Jack? One of those little gluten-free bacon biscuits. <laughs> Blessings to you all. <laughs>